Hi everyone, we have a new drug approval for hormone receptor positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer. This is really exciting. We've been waiting for this approval for some time and the drug is Datopotamab Duroxicam or Datroway. Now this is um, in the class of antibody drug conjugates. The way that antibody drug conjugates or ADCs work is that they're a very specific type of targeted therapy and they deliver a toxic drug directly to the cancer cell, which is different than chemotherapy, which kind of delivers that toxic drug to, throughout the whole body. The way that this particular, the antibody drug conjugates know where to go is that they're essentially engineered to bind to a specific protein. And so in the case of datopotamab duroxicam, the medication binds to the trope 2 receptor on the cancer cell. And then once that binding happens, it triggers the release of that potent drug into that cell that has that trope 2 receptor, causing cell death and uh, DNA damage. Now, we have a number of antibody drug conjugates that are already approved or in development in breast cancer. We have in HER2 and Tridelvi, and this offers yet another line of therapy. Now, the approval for this drug comes from the study Tropion Breast 01, and in Tropion Breast 01, patients, there were about 730 patients, they received either datapotamab duroxicam or chemotherapy, and datapotamab duroxicam reduced the risk of progression or death by 37%, compared to chemotherapy. And numerically how that translates is that patients on chemotherapy had a progression-free survival, meaning time without disease progression or death of 4.9 months on chemo compared to 6.9 months on datapotamab duroxicam. So I know this doesn't seem like a lot, but it is an improvement compared to chemotherapy. And it's really amazing to have yet another drug on the um, for our patients with metastatic breast cancer. Patients must have had prior endocrine therapy and prior chemotherapy in order to receive datapotamab duroxicam. In terms of side effects, there are several that we are keeping an eye out for, including stomatitis or inflammation of the mouth and the gums, inflammation of the lungs or pneumonitis, and any ocular or eye side effects. And we're monitoring for all of them. We're also monitoring for any low blood counts, any liver enzyme abnormalities. The drug can cause nausea, fatigue, hair thinning or loss, among others, but those are some of the more common side effects. So fantastic to have this option. Thrilled that it's now approved. Would love to know any questions or thoughts you have. And again, it is for hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer. It is not at this time approved for early stage breast cancer. All right, let me know your questions.